High School Student Ambassadors, Century High School, Fatima Rodriguez. Good evening, President Amesqua, members of the board, and interim superintendent, Dr. Rasmussen, and community members. My name is Fatima Rodriguez, and I attend Century High School. The beginning of this school year has been one of the best that I have experienced, and not because I am a senior this year, but because it feels like everyone in the school is making an effort to make this year the best. Instead of starting off with the first day of school, I would like to start off with our amazing assembly. The week leading up to the assembly was amazing because we had a sphere week, and in my opinion, it was the first year that I have seen so many people participate. The night of the assembly, we had our second home football game and our first dance. Although we lost our football game, the dance was surprised. There was many people that had not bought a ticket beforehand, however, were eager to come inside just because of the music that they were listening to. And after a hard thought from the students, they were entering left and right. A few weeks ago, we had our first and hopefully not our last senior sunrise. ASB had decided not to charge for anything. They said that they would provide everything and that all we had to do was show up. ASB was worried that no one would come because it was too early or people might think it would be too lame to come. But on the contrary, it was a success. I have to say more than 50 people came and it surprised me. ASB was also awarded a fundraiser through in and out We had approximately 450 students participate in the fundraiser, which exceeded all expectations because before we would only have about 50 people participate in fundraisers. It was phenomenal to see how many people bought a ticket, and I even overheard many people saying that they regretted not to buy one. Lastly, currently the school is getting ready for our two future events, our annual Red Cross Blood Drive and which is on Halloween. How fitting. Uh, we also have an annual Halloween carnival, which we create to reach out to local community elementary schools and intermediate schools. It is a great event with games, entertainment, prizes, and of course, candy. This year, the carnival will be on the 30th of October after school at five. I hope to see you all there. It has been an astonishing start of the school year, and I can't wait to see the rest of the year has in store for us. This is us, and this is Century. Thank you. Graciela Gomez, Godinez Fundamental. Good evening, President Amesqua, members of the board, superintendents, Rasmussen, and community members. My name is Graciela Gomez. I am here representing Godinez Fundamental High School. With the world of a student revolved around academ acad academics, <laughs> Godinez encouraged comfort and relaxation within their students by encouraging the Suicide Prevention Month of September. We appreciated our students by handing out flowers and, and uplifting notes. We decorated the bathroom saying words of encouragement. We created a suicide prevention video, including our staff, students, and club members, which revolved around the theme of You Matter. Godinez held the events of Segestrom football rivalry game at, on August 30th, where all of the students had a bunch of fun. Our senior push on September 12th, where we learned financial aid information, college school, uh, college um, questions and answerings, where we were able to learn more information on where we're going to apply to. And we also used a career search engine where we know where we're going to go at after high school. Our club rush was held on September 19th to 20th to encourage more students to become more involved in their campus. And we had our first pep rally on September 27th, where we revealed our homecoming theme of Return of the Nightmare on Grizzly Avenue. We had our, our class shout outs and our clubs and sports perform with fun and creative dances and games. We had spirit weeks revolving around the rivalry game and the first pep rally from August 26th to 30th. And basically, our students were able to dress up with their favorite jersey as a Visco girl, um, as a frat boy, all you can think of, including their co class colors. Godinez embraced a new, a new administrator, Mr. Davis, to our campus, where he is welcomed. <laughs> the great president, the president, <laughs> principal, <laughs> Mr. Church, encourages you all to think Godinez, and to, if you have any questions, please ask. Thank you. Joseph Acevedo, Santa Ana High School. 
Good evening, President Amaska, members of the school board, Superintendent Rasmussen, and community members. My name is Joseph Acevedo, and it is an honor to be representing Santa Ana High School this year and the progress it has made so far. I'd first like to begin by highlighting what we did during our summer. Because even before the school year began, Saints had the option to immerse themselves in a variety of enriching programs. If there was a subject Saints took interest in, Santa Ana High School had a program for it. Sports practices to condition our teams, leadership lessons from the Halos Group and Elizabeth G. Macias Legal Studies Academy, and even district-wide programs such as a music and speech and debate camp, just to name a few. For the newest members of our campus, we continued the Freshman Bridge program to help them acclimate to their new high school environment and ensure early academic success. And with the start of the new school year, Santa Ana High School unveiled its newest installment, ensuring states have the best resources for the best education. All ninth graders receive new Chromebooks, ensuring that our technology stays fresh. The Elizabeth G. Macias Legal Studies Academy also purchased new HP laptops, cherry wood desks, a full attire uh, closet of professional attire, and even a newer model smart board model as community lawyers prepare students for a mock trial. And lastly, as showcased at our open house, our campus received a modern, spacious library and conservatory multimedia and recording studios furnished with the green screen and Apple laptops. As for what Saints have accomplished with these renovations and our dedicated staff, Santa Ana High School had the highest SBAC growth out of all SAUSD schools according to the core dashboard. Not only are academics flourishing, but the arts and other programs too. Our chamber singers recently posted the musical Fame, and our novice members of speech and debate won second place as a team overall in a tournament this Saturday. Similarly, water polo for boys was rated top three in CIF Division 7. Cross Country State Maria Hernandez placed first out of 1,064 runners at Huntington Beach Inventationals, and our football team won their most recent game against Costa Mesa by 40 to 9. Now, as the month of October begins, seniors have transitioned into college apps, with many already revising their first draft of UC Insight questions and hearing from Cal State, UC, and community college presenters last week. Still, amidst all the hard work and effort of our students, ASB ensures they have fun activities such as a homecoming dance this next Saturday. And with that, it's been a productive two months for Santa Ana High School, which I thank you for allowing me to present on. Valeria Perez, Valley High School. Good evening, President of Mesqua, members of the school board, and Superintendent Rasmussen and community members. My name is Valeria Perez, and I am a senior at the Best of the Vest Valley High School, and I'm part of the Healthcare Academy, as you can see, pulling out the scrubs every Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> as seniors, <laughs> we're all super excited for this new school year. We're also really nervous for what's to come, but it is what it is. And we're also anxious for all the awesome activities ASB is planning for us. One of the really wonderful things we've done so far is the Bite of Reality event that was put on by School's First Credit Union. This event was a really cool experience because it was just really eye-opening for us. And it showed us how like fast money goes by. And it was really cool because we were able to see um, how our parents deal with these types of things on an everyday basis. like bills and expenses, and I guess you can say it gave us a bite of reality. We also have the UCI Urology Hands-On Outreach Field Trip, that was a handful, coming soon, which is really exciting for those lucky kids to, who get to go because it was a really interesting opportunity and it was really amazing to be able to talk to a surgeon and medical students. I was fangirling the whole time. And we were able to do a lot of hands-on activities like learn how to suture and use the machines that are used for laparoscopic and robotic surgeries. Another fun event that is coming up soon is a leadership camp for the New Media and Global Business Academy. I'm just bummed I can't go again. 
honestly. It was really fun, and it was a really cool way of getting you out of your comfort zone. And something that was a really big challenge for a lot of us was learning how to um, be a team with people you didn't really know. So that was a big challenge. And, but we got through it as a team, of course. And all I can say is that I'm all about teamwork now. Valley is also very proud of our cross country coach, Ms. Cousins, for receiving the Coach of Character Award from the Orange County Athletic Directors Association. Way to go. And the last thing I wanted to say was that I remember like it was yesterday. Year 2019, September 13th, it was about 7 p.m. when we all knew that we were going to destroy Godinas at the football game. <laughs> and we remain undefeated against Godinas. Go Falcons. Thank you.